Call the police. There's been a robbery at Staples Center. Suspect, Mark andre Fleury. He was seen robbing goals as Vegas scraps the win. Five to two at the Staples Center, boys and girls, on a back-to-back -back night. And yes, Mark andre Fleury. Started in between that, I thought this was going to be a questionable move yesterday, but turns out I was wrong. And yes, you have LA Kings coming out with a very hot win yesterday. Three goals in 30 seconds against the Nashville Predators to win at home 7-4. to four. And of course, Vegas won 6-2 against the Calgary Flames yesterday at home. So hey, both teams coming in hot, seeing how they can do facing each other. Now, initially, not a great start. 36 seconds into the game, Marsha So with a penalty. I don't know why. But Marc-Andre Fleury continues his form from yesterday. Just absolutely on it. And able to kill off the penalty, mostly thanks to Marc-Andre Fleury, just doing his job. And it's thanks to our offensive prowess uh, as of late that we get a goal very early on in this game. First period, 5 minutes and 42 seconds in. Riley Smith. I mean, here's the thing, man. Just great forechecking from Riley. And then Wild Bill with the pass. And, you know, Riley's still there to tap it in. Tap it in. Just tap it in. And you get an opportunity on a power play, right? Because the Kings just love gifting us goals. You figure, okay, Vegas, you've been kind of horrendous on the power play. Hopefully tonight something good happens. Boys and girls, Max Pacioretty with the power play goal. Six minutes and 54 seconds in. That's right, a power play goal by the Vegas Golden Knights. It. That makes me a happy boy. A very happy man. And here's the thing. Pacioretty just getting that shot on felt like, okay, cool. You're up 2 nothing early in the first period. Hopefully we can button down. Maybe not let any more shots go through. Maybe not let LA get any more chance. But only a couple seconds later, at 7 minutes and 49 seconds, Wagner... Gets the goal. It's a bad turnover by Ryan Reeves. And England had no chance to just get anywhere near fucking Wagner, which was embarrassing to say the least. And it, you know, just not giving, you know, Flower a chance, although glove side, so there's a lot of uh, ifs, ands, or buts, right? But he conceded the goal. That's the big highlight point there. And here's the thing. get on a, You get on another penalty kill. Because shit happens. You get up in your own head. But you kill it off because, again, Flurry. <laughs> the shit Flurry was doing this game. I I'm going to keep going back to Marc Andre Flurry almost every time I could because there is always a moment in this game. At least every three to five minutes, Marc Andre Flurry just does something incredible. And in this penalty kill, the craziest thing was. L.A. actually held it in Vegas' end for more than a minute. But it was thanks to Vegas' uh, you know, special team's ability to just kind of discern where the puck was going to be, where they needed to place themselves, and Marc-Andre Fleury just being on one, able to kill it off pretty well. And it's just a really hard battle before the period ends. And you move on to the second period where you just see it in Fleury's movement in his eyes. Just, he's a different animal. Uh, back to back night, he is usually on fire. I don't know the exact number of how good he is on back to back nights, but believe you me, boys and girls, he has been phenomenal. And here's the thing great back and forth in the second period. I thought LA looked a lot more determined, a lot more focused, and at times it felt as though Vegas was going to concede an opportunity. It, it felt at times maybe if. Flurry didn't do one or two things a different way. Shit would have gone completely wrong for the Vegas Golden Knights. But Flurry being on it, everything just kind of went right. Puck luck was all in for us tonight. And another opportunity on a power play. Because, again, LA didn't really play all too disciplined in early early stages of the game, I feel. Because there's a lot of frustration. There's a lot of... Just angst because you're not really scoring. You're not getting anything going. Despite how hard and physical you're playing on the ice. And so Vegas gets an opportunity on a power play. And 
boy, oh boy, I got to tell you, Paul Stasny, putting him back into that second line is doing wonders. Because this man gets a goal 14 minutes and 51 seconds into the second period. And it's a shoot pass off of his, it's a, it's a shoot pass from Pacioretty. And it's the deflection that Staz is able to get. And it's just another power play goal, which is which is great. right? It's great. It's demoralizing for the LA Kings. And, you know, that's, that's the kind of fucking goals I like. Demoralizing goals. And again, when LA gets pissed, they give you another power play opportunity. Third power play opportunity of the game. And I'm sitting there thinking, okay, there's no fucking way... Vegas is going three for three on the power play, right? There's no fucking way. Well, LA's penalty kill would like to tell you different. Paul Stasny, 17 minutes into the second period. Just a stick pass from Haig, from actually Stasny to Haig, back to Stasny. Actually, Marchi to Stasny, which I know I fucked up the order. But the main point is Stasny, Haig. And Marshy all got their hands on the puck. And it's just great movement on the power play to get shit done, to get the goal in. Second goal of the game. And Paul Stasny would actually go on to register two goals and two assists in this game. Absolutely incredible night for him. And, you know, getting that goal on the power play really just solidified how solid Vegas has been throughout this first two period. And you end the second period 4-1. to one. Going into the third period thinking, okay, you have a three-goal lead. Hopefully, you don't really try to rush shit out. Maybe force the issue too much because that's when you make mistakes. That's when, that's when you fuck up. And unfortunately for, for Vegas, you know, as, as much as they were making a nightmare for, uh, you know, for the LA Kings in terms of defense and goaltending, uh, Vegas got a little lackluster. In the start of that third period, with Brown at four minutes and twenty-four seconds into the third period, getting the goal. When they win the draw, Stasny turns the puck over. I mean, right, right to the left of Mark Andre Fleury, and it's Kopitar just able to get the turnover, intercepted, pass it to Brown, who gets an easy open goal. And you gotta just wonder what the actual hell, right? But no need to fear. No need to fear. 17 seconds later. 17 seconds later, boys and girls. Mark Stone. Mark Stone gets his goal, and it's Stone with the backhander while he's back skating, okay? The fact that we have this man for a full season now, it's just showing you flat out what a superstar is, what a superstar can do in your lineup, and how much value elite defensive forwards have in this league. I mean, Stone has been incredible. He has been an absolute champion. And here's the thing. Everyone in that second line scored tonight. Last night... Everyone on the fourth line scored. William Carrier, Tomasz Nosek, Ryan Reeves. Tonight, Max Pacioretty, Mark Stone, Paul Stasny, twice? Man. Our Vegas boys looked like they were just dipping their balls in L.A.'s mouth. And they were just like, yeah, you know. If you're going to fucking, you know, hate on us, stop it. Then fucking stop it. Because the Kings... Defense opened their legs up like whores. They did. They went from kings to queens in that moment. Pretty hilarious to boot, I'm not going to lie. But it was in the last few minutes of this third period where L.A. really started coming back to life again. They really started pressuring uh, Vegas a lot more, sustaining the attack on our side. And we get an opportunity... Well, we get an opportunity to kill another penalty because, you know, we fuck up. And to really show how dominant our penalty killing is. This is crazy because now, whenever Vegas takes a penalty, I'm honestly thinking, okay, if the opposing power play unit isn't as great and their lineup isn't as great, I will bet you probably three times, like four, three times out of four, we're getting that penalty kill. No problem. And for Vegas killing off this penalty... 
marked 11 straight penalty kills, marking 21 out of 22 penalty kills killed in this season. I gotta say, that's fucking impressive. Six games in, you're first in the league in penalty killing? Damn. Damn, they really stepped their game up. And again, I thought after Belmar left, I thought the penalty killing unit might have taken a step back. But the way LA just could not get anything done on the power play just absolutely played into their downfall. Yes, they got a spectacular win against the Nashville Predators yesterday, but that means nothing. That means nothing. Um, I don't think the Predators are all that good. Um, not really boasting at the fact that we just beat, you know, all these Pacific Division teams. Bar from the fact that we didn't beat the Arizona Cardinal, um, Cardinals, Coyotes. And, yeah, I really do think this LA Kings team is mediocre as shit. Um, I don't think there's a lot of positive things to talk about with this team. Yeah, you got solid pieces. Yeah, the names are still there, but guess what? The age, the physicality, the decrease in speed, where the speed game is all everything is now in the NHL. You lack that, and you're not going to get anything good. You're just not. And when you look at the three stars for the game, there were no L.A. players. There are absolutely not, because none of them deserved it. It was Stasny, three-star, Pacioretty, two-star, Mark Roger Fleury, one-star. Now, I want to kind of switch the Pacioretty and Stasny placement because Stasny, I feel, had a much bigger impact in today's game, uh, relatively speaking. But I get it, Pacioretty gets the lead-up goal, so I like that too, I guess. Not a huge problem. But hey, Vegas dominated. On the special teams. I mean, 3-for-3 three three on the power play. 3-for-3 three three on the penalty kill. Vegas, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you today. You did something really nice on the special teams. And I gotta say, as somebody who bitched about the power play since day one, I'm glad this was a game. They took a step in the right direction. Hopefully, on other teams, maybe teams of significance, uh, shit gets done better. You also have... Yeah, at, you know, adding to the fact that you know Jonathan Quick wasn't all that great today. Uh, 31 saves on 36 shots, an 861 save percentage. No help from the defense, and maybe a couple of shots he just gave up. But it was just a feast for the Vegas Golden Knights. They just ate up every opportunity they could have, and you know that's credit to the Vegas offense and maybe a bit, a bit of concern and worry. For the entire Kings team. However, for Vegas, there's the bright shining light. Mark andre Fleury. Flower. 36 saves on 38 shots. A 947 save percentage. This guy was just absolute magic today. I mean, good God, folks. If you're a Vegas fan and you're complaining about the fact that we have Mark andre Fleury. He's old, yada, yada, yada. This guy's going to be a Hall of Famer. He is probably going to be our best chance to win a cup here in Vegas. And honestly, getting a win on a back-to-back -back night with Marc-Andre Fleury is fantastic. And I hope, really hope, that maybe Tuesday, Thursday, we get Oscar Danska's spot. Maybe a look in to have Fleury rest a little bit. Because let's face it, the games that Vegas have, has won... And I guess even the Boston game, right? Because Arizona, I'm not really counting that one because we technically used two goaltenders and Malcolm Subban took the L on that one. Every game Marc-Andre Fleury has participated in, except the Arizona game, he has saved over 30-plus shots. He has faced over 30-plus shots. Probably going to average 35 or more, right? What that means is he's facing a lot of pressure early on. So it's left up to Coach Golan. And the Vegas Golden Knights organization to recognize that this man is facing a lot of shots early. And maybe getting a backup in there to have him take a day off or two days off would be nice for the longevity of how this team can progress into April. Right? Potential playoffs. Because that's when we need everyone to be healthy. We've seen when Mark andre Fleury isn't healthy. We've seen what happens to him in the playoffs when he isn't healthy. And that is the ultimate goal here, boys and girls, to get to the playoffs, to get these points, and get our asses to the goddamn playoffs. And here's the thing. 
I know this man is going to lead us to greatness. Number 61, Mark Stone. And yes, Vegas getting the 5-2 win is huge on the road. A one-game loss on the road so far this season. Two wins on the road. Solid, solid for the Vegas Golden Knights. So let's keep this going. Hopefully on Tuesday against the Nashville Predators, Vegas gets another well-welcomed win. Now, I'm going to go ahead and head off, boys and girls, but follow me at the Sky Lounge on all the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily content. Go Knights, go now, fuck off.